Okay. Oh. <laughs> Maxie, what what is your wish? You know, currently, what is your wish? What's my wish? What am I wanting in the world is to get the gastric bypass to aid me to lose weight. What else have you tried? Everything. I've been on every single diet that was going, and many, and um, some I've made up myself. Um, Weight Watchers, Rosemary Connolly, um, every single different diet that there is going on. Silhouette is the first one, oh, the seven club that I went to, that doesn't run anymore, but uh, that was the first one I went to. Um, I've done metabolic diets, I've done calorie control diets, every diet you can name. Why don't they work? Ah, uh, pass. If I've got the answer to that, I'd be a very rich woman, wouldn't I? Because I would answer a lot of people's questions. Do you accept it's because you eat more than you should? Yes, I accept the fact that I overeat and I eat the wrong things. I probably don't eat, consume a um, vast amount. I do consume the wrong things, though. And have you tried to change your eating? Yes, yes, I have. Yes. And I'm doing it now. I'm, I'm literally on the ball at the moment and struggling, but getting there, putting out, um, you know, fats and bread and eating healthily, eating me five a day and getting around to uh, facing the fruit demon. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's true. Is this a paper bag? No, it's not a bar of chocolate. Bar of chocolate, banana, bar of chocolate, banana. Yes. What I mean, are your weaknesses then? My weakness is chocolate. It is. I'm a weak cho chocolate and crisps. Yeah, those are my weaknesses. So how much do you have of that? Well, we don't buy it now, so um, well, I'm not eating any of it. We don't but, eat bread um, anymore. You know, it's something that um, if I request it, Adrian will buy it for me. I mean, I can't get out to the shop myself, so, you know, it's, you know, it's the old enabler sort of thing. Uh, the the routine, going down a routine of uh, if somebody will bring it into the house, then I will eat it. But uh, we are being very good at the moment and uh, we're, getting on, uh, we're getting our way to uh, a very... Healthy, healthy diet, yeah. So have you lost some? Well, actually, yesterday was the first time I've been weighed for a while. And I was shocked to find that I was 28 stone, which I was sort of like four stone heavier than what I thought I was. But um, I feel like I've lost weight, weight over the last few days. So, um, you, you know, I think perhaps that is, the, you know, sort of fluid of all crabs from the vegetables and stuff that I'm eating. I don't know, but we'll wait and see. What's making you determined then? What, what's your sort of motivation? Because I do not want to get to 30 stone. There's no way you're going to get me up on that scale to 30 stone. I'm going to go down the scales. No. Is this a recent change of yes. attitude? Yes. What, what's brought it on? Well, just realising how heavy I am, really. Just, It's just, it seems like... The light's gone on, and I've got to do something about it before I die. The, I suppose the shock of having your eyesight affected, that must yes. be quite upsetting. And realising that it's in my hands. I can't expect anybody else to do anything about it unless I'm prepared to put in the work myself. So, yeah, I've got to do something about it, and I'm doing, I'm going to do Oh, we should look with it. So, what um, the, the gastric bypass? Yes. What so uh, what has the doctor said about that? I'm waiting to see Prof Larvin at uh, the city. Oh, well, it's more now, isn't it? Um, hospital. Um, he told me um, last year that I could have it if I got down to 20 stone. But obviously, my weight's gone the other way. And okay, apparently okay. there is new criteria for the um, gastric bypass. You've got to be heavier rather than lighter. So hopefully 
Um, I mean, obviously, if they're looking at people with weight problems, they're not going to find... They're going to have to sort out the people that have got weight problems rather than people who have just got, say, 16 stone. They don't need to, to have these operations. When you've, when you've got sort of like 16 stone to lose, you have a weight problem rather than being 16 stone and you can shift a few stone. I suppose the problem, the, the worry is though, if you, obviously the bypass, it, it, it um, stops you, restricts your ability to eat, but people can, people still, if they're eating, not because they're hungry, but they're eating for psychological reasons, you still eat, you could actually kill yourself. Yeah, but the thing is, if it's, if you're treated as a whole person, and the psychological things are treated as well, then perhaps you could get counselling while you're doing these things. The whole thing be working as a, as one together, in as an aim to treat you as a full person rather than just bits of you. I mean, it's we've been down. I've been down since the age of eight. I've been treated as a fat person, an over overweight person, and they've treated the overweight by putting me on diet. Where has that got me to? Twenty eight stone because I've yo yoed up and down. I've gone on diets, gone off diets, and I've just gone up and down. So it's not it's not solved it, has it? So treat, perhaps treating me as a whole person, the psychological side of it, as well as the the uh, the eating side of it. Why do I overeat? Get to the root of the cause. We may get somewhere. Do you know? I feel I've got issues. I know I've got issues about my past, and I think that perhaps you know, working with the psychologist that I'm doing now at the moment, you know, perhaps things will get easier and admitting, you know, the reasons why I eat are not easy. But I know that I've got to do that to get through and I'm going to do. I see the door and I'm going to go through it. Oh, wish you all maximum. Thank you.